I'll take my mask off to do this, but I'm not taking my mask off to coach a game. I see a lot of guys doing it, but I'm not that comfortable. Opening statement, okay. Uh, you know, those guys who have been around here a long time know that I knew that I wasn't going to call a timeout. And I told them when it was the TV timeout that I didn't get us in the problem. They did. And they came out, tried to double our post, and we threw it out and shot the ball on the first pass out, and none of them went in. And we also didn't do a very good job of guarding. And uh, Bryce got off to a, a much better start than we wanted him to. Uh, but I felt okay about the score. I told them at the first time out, I wasn't worried about the score. I was just worried about how we were playing. And then I think the two guys that are, are here to talk to you, uh, Armando and Andrew, were very efficient. Uh, Armando was four for four and Andrew was four for six. And we got to get everybody to have that kind of feeling of being efficient with the ball, not just getting a number of shots up. And so uh, after the first uh, six minutes or so, I thought we did some good things and uh, got better. And I hope and hope and think we learned a lot from tonight. That's about it. Hey, Andrew, uh, after the 13 nothing run, you guys – not only cl uh, closed out strong in the first half, I think it was 15-3 to close the first half, but then 11-1 to start the second half. How huge was it to be able to extend the run into the second half? Um, well, we know, well, as Coach said before in his, in his statement, uh, when we went down, he wasn't concerned about the score. Uh, I think we were worried for a second, but then we just knew if we played our principles and, and played our game plan, we were going to be fine. And that, that run that we went on afterwards was a, was a culmination of that. So um, sticking to what we know how to do helped us go on that run and, and keep keep our foot on the gas in the second half. Andrew, over here, Brendan Marks from The Athletic. Um, going back to that timeout when Roy's telling you guys, you know, don't worry about the score, it, it really seemed like you were able to use your defense to sort of propel you guys on that run. It, it, Bryce stopped getting so hot. Um, you guys were grabbing all the rebounds. You know, what does that say about the defensive potential of this team? And um, how does that compare to, to some of the defensive lapses maybe that you guys would have seen last season? Well, I think we're so big and we're so long and Leaky was unbelievable tonight. Uh, um, Bryce, uh, just not letting him get to his spots, denying him the ball. And when he would get the ball, making him take uh, like tough uh, fall away jump shots and, and stuff he wasn't comfortable with. And Leaky's that kind of player on the defensive end. He could do that to anybody in, in the country just because he's so big and uh, can, use his, can use his length so well. But I think uh, what we didn't have last year was like two really big interior post guys that like that we could rotate. So like if, if our two bigs get tired, we got – two more big guys coming in right after. And they're not the biggest team in the world, so I think we kind of use that to our advantage. And they shoot a lot of threes anyway, but they weren't getting anything inside, so that helped us. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Go ahead, Seal. Oh, did you have a follow? I'm sorry. Did you? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Um, after the first game, and no one shot it well from three-point range, what was – what was – I mean, did your confidence at all dip? You seemed to to be assertive when you came out early in that first half when everybody else had missed so many shots to start the game. And I, I felt like your threes were able to kind of loosen everything up. Uh, no, I just keep shooting because um, I know they're going to go in. And that's uh, just my mentality. It's just the next one's going to go. I was actually watching a lot of Clay Thompson stuff, uh, like in between uh, last game and, and this game, like when he was in a slump. And it's like, what is anyone going to tell me about uh, this was his words, like uh, the interviewing from when he was slumping, like, what is, what is somebody going to tell Clay Thompson about like his jump shot or whatever. So he just like is going to shoot the next shot because, because he's a really good shooter. I'm not equating myself obviously to someone of his level, but it's the same mentality uh, as, as someone at any age, you just got to keep going and keep, keep the confidence in yourself that the next one's going to fall. What was the key defensively after UNLV came out and I think hit their first five shots? What was the key kind of settling down? Yeah, I mean, just our main principle was just to just go out there and hustle and not let them get the easy open looks and shots that they want. Early, we struggled to just get back on defense and obviously we was missing a couple shots. And they were making shots, so we just knew we had to go out there and just play hard. Armando, I was going to ask you about the rebounding. You guys dominated them on the glass. The longer the game went on, the more shots they missed. You guys got them all. How much of a, how much of a strong feeling did that feel for you guys tonight? In terms of you knew you were going to get your hands on them every time. It seemed like. 
Yeah, I mean, we just know that's one of our strong suits for the season, just with us being so deep in the front court and having so much length. We know that's something we can lean on, even if our shots aren't falling, as long as we attack the glass and get a lot of rebounds, that'll give us the advantage over the other team and get us extra shots. Hey, Roy, I was I was going to ask you about you guys got in such a big uh, early hole, but you responded in a way that maybe last year might not have happened. Is there a confidence that you, these guys can get from that, do you think? Well, I hope so, and I think it should. I congratulated them during the timeout. I congratulated them at halftime, and I congratulated them again after the game. So I'm hoping that that will be something that will help them. There's no question, but uh, we've got to play better. I mean, <laughs> you can't spot a lot of people 13 and think you're going to come back and win. So we've got to play better during that time period. Roy, this is Walker Kessler's first significant playing time. What do you like about his skill set, and how do you think he played tonight? Well, again, you know, you're concerned about his, uh, his conditioning more than anything. And uh, I think with each and every get a day at practice and each and every game, he'll help that a little bit. But he is really long, guys, and he can bother shots inside and get his hands on some offensive rebounds that other guys can't get. And then you saw him dive on the floor like that tonight. That kind of effort is only going to get him a heck of a lot more playing time. But uh, I'm comfortable with all those guys. Uh, it was tougher on uh, Dayron and Armando probably with all the double team they're doing because Dayron is going to be a fantastic player. He's going to be a fantastic player this year and I hope even this week. Uh, but that was something that uh, it was new for them. It's only the second game we played, and so uh, it was uh, something that bothered them more than it bo usually bothers our teams. Thank you. Yeah, Roy, uh, first game against Charleston and then again tonight, it looked like both teams are going to make your guards beat them, uh, given your, you know, the size you've got up front. What do you tell your your backcourt guys to how to respond to that? Make shots. <laughs> I know that's the easiest answer, Kip, but it is. You've got to have the confidence, but you got to take good shots. Just because they double team and you throw it out and you shoot it immediately, that's not. That's what their coach wants to do. I want to do what I want to do. And uh, so we've got to understand that part. And I think RJ's a good shooter. I think Caleb's a good shooter. Andrew made some tonight. Uh, uh, I'm leaving somebody. Kerwin, I think, is a good shooter. He made one for us in the first half. But those guys have got to take good shots. And I think they'll, I think they'll go in. I think we're going to shoot it better this year than we did last year for sure. But we haven't done it the first two games, though. So.